What's up, people? Zog here, coming at you with episode 24 on the Beirut server. Woo! I can jump, but I can't fly. So I've been playing a lot of modded lately. Um, I kind of hinted at that when I said I wish I could fly over there and doing things and stuff. But, uh, yeah, I got uh, the Mot Sauce pack, and it's it's a whole lot of fun. I've been over there quite a bit, recording a whole lot of things. Uh, but I think it's about time to get back to chickens. Chickens. I think it's time to get uh, back into vanilla just a little bit. These guys on this server have probably been uh, curious about where I am. Ah, oh, nostalgia. I remember that island. And why it has red sand in the middle of it. And dirt. And stuff. So today I want to do something... Uh, a little bit different. I, I put out a video a little while ago of uh, Cyclops Anomaly and I. We, we took down a monument. Well, I want to find my own, and then I want to turn it into a farm. I was going to turn the one by Anomaly's base into a farm, and I still might do that, but I'd still... I don't know. I like having my own farms and my own access to things. I just... I do. Uh, I'm all for the community and, and providing the community with things, and maybe I'll convert the other one into a farm also later. But since it's for the community, I think it should be, you know, the community that builds it, not just me. So I kind of want to get, you know, a team together and, and take care of that one. But I also want my own. So it's time for an adventure. I just, uh, let's just say I knew the mechanics of fishing before I built this, but I didn't think about them. And those of you that know about them will know exactly what I'm talking about. And for those of you who don't, if the watering hole you're fishing in is exposed to the sky, you get better rates. If it's raining, you get better rates. Neither of which can happen inside this, this building of mine. So... Obviously, you can fish. It's just a lot slower. So I'm toying with the idea that it might be better just to be here because I'm safe and I don't have to turn my back on, you know, the darkness when the moon comes out. But I'm not sure. I don't know how much exactly it reduces the rates if it is inside. It doesn't seem that terrible, but fishing is always terrible because it's that boring. So, eh. But... I need some puffer fish for some water breathing potions, so I'm going to catch a bunch of those if I can, and then, uh, yeah, I'll get back to you in a bit. Okay, and here we are. Uh, yeah, this is tomorrow. This is the next day, and uh, I was a little bit uh, tired in the other clips, so this one might, y you might notice a mood change. I don't know, I'm feeling pretty good today, pretty excited, kind of. You know, 
Eh, eh. So, I got myself a new helmet and new boots, and I had to get the unbreakings through the Enderman farm because, oh, I didn't have anything set up for it. And, yeah, that took a little while. But, I got them. It's cool. We're good. I also made myself some potions. Got a lot more in here. So, I might have to run back to this place uh, every now and then. But, uh, we're going to see what happens when I get in here. And I'm going to try. You might not be able to see for a minute. I'm going to... Uh, I'm gonna circle around and then I'm gonna take the potions and I'm gonna try to run in and we're gonna see what we can't come up with. We're gonna see what we can't do. And you can see! We gotta go, quick. Should have Depth Strider, what the heck. And we're in. Alright, sweet. So, first thing I want to do, I don't have anything, and I have mining fatigue. Of course I do. Nothing here. Oh, yes! Yes! Got a sponge room! Fantastic! This is what I'm talking about. This is going to be awesome. Okay, so now I just need to go and kill all the Elder Guardians. I need to find them all. I got to see if I can't remember how to get out of here. I think I'm already lost. Fantastic. So let me just go ahead. Uh, I'm going to go around. Whoop. Found the entrance. Oh, that's that room. I guess. Wait. Is this. This is a dead end, I guess. So I have to go in here. I'm trying to map this place out as I go. So I have to go up at least one level. And we are back in here. I'm just getting back to this little room thing right here in the end. It seems pretty secluded. There's one way in and out, and it's a downward area, so it'll be easier to clear out the water, I believe. So uh, the first thing we need to do is actually wait for the mining fatigue. So uh, that's only about 25 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and set up my furnaces for the time being. Hi, dude. Go away. And once that happens, we can plug off this thing, this hole at the bottom. Uh, just so we don't get any more guardians in here because they won't spawn around you, but they can certainly swim to you So that's the first thing we're gonna do. We're gonna set up our little furnace things here There's one two three and four. Oh wait go up 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 and in this uh, monument We have let's go ahead and do all four in there. We have two sponge rooms. We got two of them in this monument so I need to go clear all those out get all those sponges so it'll help me clear this thing out so much faster and uh, yeah 
I'll come back in a second when I got some more things dried out. Probably this room cleared out just a little bit. So now I got this room cleared out. I harvested one of the uh, things here. Let me split these up just a little bit. I'm trying not to waste coal, but it, it's going to happen quite a bit just to get enough of these sponges. But now I have plenty, and I can literally drain this whole monument real, really minimal effort. So, yeah, but I also want to move all this stuff down because this was kind of stupid to be up top because I can't swim up into it if I remove all the water. So I need to move it down, and I'm thinking right at the beginning, right at the entrance. That way I don't have to worry about going up until I'm, you know, ready to remove water and all that good stuff. Uh, but uh, I need to clear it out first. Oop. Not what I meant to do. So let me uh, keep going on things and uh, see you back in when I got more progress to show you. And I am making progress. As you can see, I have this cleared out open hole. But where is this? Right at the entrance. This is the entrance. And I'm, I'm making progress. I've gotten all the way up there cleared out. I've gotten over there some cleared out, which this is where uh, that upper area was. So I moved everything down here. I got that room cleared out and there's nothing over here. So I need to keep working my way around and I'm going to try to empty it out and clear out some of the walls so I don't have to worry about a maze so much. So as, uh, as things come available for me to clear out, this room is going to get bigger and bigger. That's what I think I'm going to go with. That way I can't really get lost too much. If it's one big open room, all I have to do is look around to see where I got to go. Come here, you. What are you doing, man? I'm trying to make a video. Stop your fluttering around, man. You're kind of loud. Sounds weird, too. Flapping fish. Oh, hey. And I can set them on fire now because they're not submerged in water. It's awesome. Anyway, so I'm going to keep going with this. I'm going to keep clearing it out, and then we're going to see what we can't get into after that. You know, I thought there would be a whole lot more digging, but this thing wraps in on itself like so many times. Like, you start here in this room, and at first you go up and over, and there's a thing here, and you go have to go around it. And then, the, you know, there's up areas. And then, you know, you come out through one door and you take a left. And you don't realize, but you're actually, like, right beside that other room. I mean, this is this is pretty much how thick the wall was between the two. You know, I can break through almost any wall and get to it into another room in this place. It's like this, too. Like, there really isn't a whole lot. Like, the whole place is made of walls. It's not, like, a filled-in structure. It's really not hard to break apart. And these guys are so annoying. And it actually gets harder the more you clear it out. So if you plan on doing something like this, just bear that in mind because there's not so many things to hide behind anymore. So you want to, like, you don't want to go through and break everything. Even if you have Aqua Affinity on your helmet, you can break through whatever. Look, these were new. Brand new. And they're already down to half. Like, this is, this is beyond ridiculous, what I'm doing right now. This, this stuff, it should not be breaking this fast. This goes back to show you that I think this gear breaks way too quickly. I understand I'm underwater a whole lot, but... Holy crap. Literally, they were brand new, both of them. And these, you know, these guys too. Now, I'm getting hit a lot too, man. These guys are just vicious. You don't stand a chance, dude. You don't. Just stop trying. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to keep going with this and uh, give you another update in just a little bit. So, let me give you the tour. In this place, it's really not all that uh, all that big. I mean, once you dig through all the walls and stuff, it's really not. It looks as about, about as big as it did on the outside. And I think all the twists and turns that wrap in on themselves is what makes it seem so much bigger. But, uh, yeah, and then there's this outside ring here. There's a side that goes down there. And then there's one that goes all the way around. So many sea lanterns. I placed quite a few of them because I ran out of potions. Like, all the ones that I showed you, yeah, they're all gone. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a waterless monument. I'm pretty happy about that because now all I got to do is, well, remove the water on top, square it off, and make some cells for, you know, these guys to spawn in and fall to their death. <sighs> that's going to be a while. That's, that's going to be a while. But 
I'm going to finish uh, wrapping up here. I'm going to get what I can get. And then uh, I'm going home for now. I'll be back. I think. No, I'll be back. Yeah, I'll be back. So uh, let me finish up here and I'll talk to you in a second. Okay, pro tip. In order to get the lanterns on the outside, get them first. Because once you, obviously, you know, take away all the spawning spaces inside, there's a whole crap ton outside. Oh my goodness gracious. Holy crap. All right, and we're back at the base. Final death count, one. I only died once, which is pretty good. I, th I think that's pretty good, but I'm still kind of irritated about it because it was right at the end. It's like you heard me mention, <laughs> bad idea to try to get the lanterns outside after you clear the inside from water. Oh my lord. So many guardians at one time. I was on the last one and it seemed like 15 to 25,000 of them pointed their lasers at me and somehow got done really quick. It was almost insta-kill. It was, it was really, really fast. I did not stand a chance. Even with all my awesome gear, which I have repaired. Holy crap, you have no idea. It was, it was, they were all in the red. They were all like slivers. It was unbelievable. They went down so quick in that monument. It was just ridiculous. But I did get some stuff, some stuff, some stuff, things here. This is pretty much everything I got. I mean, uh, these are still wet, obviously, but it's a little over a stack of sponge, which is awesome. Fantastic. I can sell some of that. I got one of these. I'm going to need that in a minute. You see these here. Um, yeah, I kind of give you a hint of what's coming next, but I'll talk about that in a second. Over a stack of sea lanterns, a whole bunch of other stuff. I haven't converted these back into more sea lanterns. That's not really going to give me a whole lot, though, so it's not a big deal. And then the middle room. Good thing I don't have to split this one three ways because I took it out on my own. It's awesome. But, uh, yeah, so since the outside is so hazardous, it's insane. I had to think of a way to make it work so I can actually build this farm. Potions of invisibility. I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to try. However, the thing is, it's not going to be done anytime soon. This is going to be one of those projects that has dragged out uh, over at the very least a few episodes. I'll kind of give you updates on how far I've gotten, things like that. Whenever I have some free time, I'll come back and I'll, I'll continue with what I'm going to do. And I'll get into exactly what I'm going to do a little bit. I'm going to start it just a little bit uh, at the end of this episode, which is coming up pretty quick. And after that, we're <laughs> after that, it's just going to be kind of slow going. I'm going to do a little bit at a time because if I tried to do it all at one time, I would I would hate Minecraft. And I don't want to hate Minecraft because it's awesome. So. You're not going to see the completed farm this episode, and I apologize for that. I will show it to you as soon as I get it. As soon as it's done, you're going to see it. But uh, let me finish making these potions of invisibility, get some more water breathing, get some building blocks, and uh, some other supplies and stuff together. And I'll meet you back up once we get back over there. All right, so here we are at the uh, <laughs> at the monument that's probably swarming with them. Let me go ahead and get my water breathing, uh, my night vision, and the invisibility. So I should be invisible to the mobs. And the basic idea is when you come down here to get all this stuff, you want to go out nine on each side. So I'm going to go out ten on each side. Hopefully he didn't see me. You can't see me, can you? Oh crap, you can see me. How did you see me? Go away, man. I'm invisible can't see me so we need to go out uh, go go man place a block crap you can see me ow go away now I'm still invisible one two three four five six oh crap one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so there's a tenth block there oh stay away from me man you don't see me you can't see me. I need to stay healed. You know, I'm acting all scared. I can totally take a couple of these guys. As long as I don't go too close to, you know, them. Ugh. Oh, man. 
You're strong. Stop it. Give me the stuff. I want the stuff. So we need to go out, you know, a, 10 blocks on each side. I'm getting distracted now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop it, man. Leave me alone. Ow. Man, come on now. And then we can just kind of bring it over in the corner. Oh, crap. There's, there's a few of them. Holy crap. Look at the surface. They can't spawn inside the building. So... There's so many around the outside, and now they're all kind of grouping over here. I need... Oh, my goodness gracious. This is this is just ridiculous. And then it's going to be right here. So this is the corner. So I'm just going to make this... Build this up, because I'm not going to the other ones at the moment. So let's build this up. And then I'll show you what I plan to do, and then a lot of the rest of it will be kind of off-camera, mostly. Huh. So these, these three blocks here are outside the range. They can spawn inside here. So what we want to do is create this border thing here. Oh, I'm out there. Uh, more blocks, please. Don't fail me now, inventory. Okay. So now that we have that, I need to go get a little bit of sand. Oh, crap. I jumped on him. No. Too far away, man. Don't chase me down. Nope, nope, nope. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. All right, give me a little bit of you. Give me a little bit of you. Give me you. And I need some sand and the piston. So some of you guys that are redstoners will know pretty much what I'm about to do. Uh, uh, leave me alone, man. Don't glare at me with your one eye. I don't want to know. I don't want it, man. Okay, so I need to right here, which means the piston goes here. Ugh. Then I just need a little bit of redstone right here. We're going to bring it out some, actually. That way, once we move it over, we don't have to worry too much about the length. We, I mean, we have to throw extra repeaters in there. It's not going to be a huge deal. So then we just need to go, this is just going to be one of the very simple, simple clocks because it's temporary and it may have to be moved later. There, 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 there. And then you got to make sure when you do this, that you increase the ticks a couple just so it doesn't uh, fill up completely. And then you flick it. Come on, man, break. Thank you. So then you have a clock. Crap. Got to be pointed at it, man. Didn't think about that. It happens. So then, you can take your sand, you just literally stand right, oh, 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 ow. Stay away from me, man. All right, I gotta build a wall. Yeah, that's very noisy, I'm sorry. Hopefully it's not too bad for you. Just so they can't see me, but you stand right here so that when you hold down right click, What? Hold on, hold on. What? Oh, well, that's interesting. What is this? What are you? Lag? What is this? What's going on, man? What the crap? Uh... Hold on, let me reload. I have no idea what just happened. I'm going to pretend it didn't. Are you going to work now? No. I don't know what in the world is going on there. Now it seems to be working okay. I think those other ones really aren't there. Like, my client said they were there, but the server couldn't keep up quite. So, let's do this. Oh, man, come on now. Don't play with me. Oh, nope, I need that. Okay, so now we're going to put the lever back down. Should be a little bit slower. Hopefully the server can keep up. Unless they added some kind of new sand. But the other one's disappeared as soon as I logged back on, so... 
So are we on the second layer now? Is that what this is? Yeah, it looks like it. See, now once it fills up, it's just going to go over to the next one and over to the next. These aren't even there. That's why they're not dropping entities. But uh, yeah, so as soon as it gets, you know, builds up, then it's just going to push one more over. So what this is going to let me do is go all the way out 12 everywhere here. And then as soon as it gets as far as it can push, I'll move it over one and keep going and then over one and then keep going. And it's just going to be like, yeah, kind of like that, which is why it's going to take forever. But as you see, all I have to do is to literally s sit here and just place the block. That's all I got to do. So while this is going to take an extraordinary amount of time and it's crazy and I probably could automate it more. Maybe not, actually, because I have to place all this thing. Well, I suppose I could just kind of make stacks, like, super high in the air and then run, like, a whole bunch of them, which I still might do. Uh, this, all I really got to do is hold down the button so I can watch videos or whatever, you know, stop when I need to start a new video. I can do pretty much whatever I want. I can just AFK here for a while and just kind of let this continue. So, uh, yeah, this is going to take a while. But... Hope you guys liked the video. Hold on. Eh? If you liked the video, click that like button. You want to see more? Subscribe. Comment, favorite, share. Do what you do. Thanks for watching.